brand new irons for Callaway. Callaway Paradigm, Paradigm X. Just how do they compare to the previous generation? You're gonna find out. Um, wow, these actually look really good looking down at. There we go. It's definitely crisper, yeah. It's pretty good. Outperforming in height. Golfers, welcome back to the Swing Lab Performance Golf YouTube channel. I'm Thomas Campbell, Director of Instruction. Today I'm joined by Ian McKenzie Olson, teaching professional here at Swing Lab. We're going to be comparing uh, the Rogue ST Max line versus the new Callaway Paradigm irons. Um, these Paradigm irons, they, they kind of fit in an interesting area because Paradigm is actually almost considered a player's distance iron. When you've got the Callaway Paradigm X, which is maybe a little bit more game improvement iron. Compare that to previous model. Um, we've got the Rogue ST Max and Max OS irons, and they're, you know, generally you'd think those are a little bit more game improvement, user friendly irons here too. So, loss on the irons are, you know, they're, they're fairly, fairly strong. Um, but just how do they compare, and how will they, you know, help your, you as a golfer out? We're gonna find out. Um, so, Ian, you know, tell me, you know, looking at these Rogue ST Max irons, you know. Looking down at them, you know, well, we talked about them offset, right? We're seeing a little yeah. bit more offset looking at them. You know, just tell me how they look. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely looking at a game improvement iron here. Um, the offset definitely stands out, um, I think. And once, you know, I've already kind of noticed when we'll get into those a little bit more, but definitely not so much offset in those. And um, But that being said, you know, I think they're pretty, you know, what you'd expect from a game improvement standpoint. Yeah, and Rogue ST Max OS and, and Max Irons, they're still available to be fitted. You can still custom order them, you can still buy them brand new. Um, you know, they are gonna come at a slightly lower cost compared to the Paradigm line. So it's gonna be interesting to maybe compare value as well and just see how they kind of compare it too. Cause let's face it, golf clubs, they keep going up in price and there's nothing we can kind of do it as the industry, you know, sets this, that standard. but. These are great irons back in 2022, and I want to compare how you know, see how they do again. New irons in 2023. All right, Thomas. So uh, we're gonna start with the Rogue ST Max OS. This would probably be considered maybe the the most game improvement of the four that we'll be testing in this video. Um, loft sitting at 28.5 degrees, which is you know kind of in the middle of of the four, so it is going to be a little more higher launching than maybe the you know Paradigm X and the in the Rogue ST Max, uh, but I think it is more of the thicker bodied kind of game improvement iron. So let's hit some shots and see what see what we get. See the, yeah. see the results. <laughs> yeah, and it, it is right. I mean, so like twenty eight and a half degrees loft. Unique thing with Callaway back you know last year is they added a little more loft to their more user-friendly irons, because in this face at loft is your friend, we want to get the ball up in the air. If you have a game improvement iron that's too strong, then it's just not going to get in that optimal window. And, you know, talking about too strong, I'm going to be doing the hitting today because, you know, have, have you, you swing in, we don't really need to see 230 yard seven irons. So I'm going to slow my speed down um, as, much as, as much as I can here and try and give a good sample size for those golfers that more fit into these kind of category of irons. All right, you have five shots with the Rogue ST Max OS. Kind of, what are your first impressions? How did it look? How did it feel? I mean, for someone that doesn't, you know, play this particular category, you know, it is a lot firmer than you know a fully forged iron that I that I play, and you know, I play almost blades. So looking down at this, looks you know, a lot si more sizable. I'm seeing more offset. You know. It's going to inspire confidence. For those golfers that don't hit the middle of the face every, every single time, it's going to be really important. And as I mentioned, it's designed. It's got, you know, designed to get the ball up in the air. So you can see the sole is a little bit larger. 
you know, top lines a little, little bit thicker to inspire confidence and get the ball up in the air. And we were seeing that. I mean, when I hit those five shots just at 80 mile an hour club speed, you know, my landing angle 44 degrees and height 90, degree, 90 feet in the air, that's very good for that speed. So this particular club was performing really well. Talk about um, what that offset kind of does for a lot of golfers. I noticed uh, a few of your shots, you, you kind of pull them left a little bit. And I know that sometimes the offset can, you know, be for the player that maybe struggles with a slice and try to correct that a little bit. Yeah, it, it for sure can help. It just gives a little bit more time for that face to, to, to rotate over. You just got a little bit more and, you know, you set it, set it down. It just, you know, it makes you want to have that face square as opposed to, to open is what I kind of noticed with oath offset. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's obvious it's there. I, I can, I can see it and I think, you know, it helps, but you know, there was a couple I pulled a little left, a couple left a little open to the right. But you know, if you look at like, you know, think about like variances, right? That were all pretty good shots mm -hmm. for these particular irons. They're actually flying pretty straight overall. And yeah, so I, I like I like this particular model. It, it's it's been great in the fitting bay, and it's it's great for players that want a little more forgiveness. So what else have we got now? So now I want to throw in. Let's, let's see the paradigm. Because okay. that loft is a little bit, it's close, right? I think the, the loft on that is about 28 degrees. Yeah, loft on the Paradigm is 29 degrees, 29. so about a half degree more. Um, looks like the Paradigm is probably the closest to a player's iron that you're going to see in these four irons. Um, so it has a really clean, sharp look. Um, so yeah, I'm curious to see what it, what it feels like right after hitting, you know, what would be considered the most game improvement. So. Yeah, and you know, feel, uh, right? These, this is like a, a forged face. So you know, it comes with a little bit more premium price, but it'd be interesting to see you know, how much different that particular feel is compared to a more game improvement iron. Um, wow, these actually look really good looking down at it. Compared to you know, the, the more user-friendly iron, this, does, this is you know, quite a nice transition to, to look down at. And this is the first time I've seen them. So yeah, I'm surprised. I thought I was expecting to see a little larger face. But it's, you know, it's a good looking club to look at. I might have jumped on that a little bit. It sounds a bit um, crisper. Crisper, yeah. It's it's not as loud yeah. as the, the Rogue. ST lines are. It's definitely crisper. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. It looks, even from here, it looks like a sharp golf club. I mean, as far as game improvement goes, that is pretty much, it looks top of the line from what I'm seeing. It looks like a shiny version of, Cal of the Apex line, is what it looks to me like. Like the, the Apex, they're a little more kind of in that. Um, the player's distance iron category, and it looks a lot kind of like a, an, an apex. There we go. All right, five good shots there with the Paradigm. Talk to me a little bit about how that feels. I, I heard you say, you know, this would kind of fall more under the player's distance iron. You almost wouldn't really call this too much of a, a game improvement club. Um, you know, similar loft to the, the Rogue ST Max OS, but it sounded like you were pretty impressed with the, the looks of that. Yeah, it's like, it's like a slightly stronger lofted player's distance iron. And usually player's distance irons, they're around about 30 degrees aloft on them. Um, yeah, it's, uh, I'm quite surprised how good it looks, actually. And, you know, normally I'm just kind of expecting these, you know, the Paradigm or the Rogue ST, you know, you're, you're generally what you'd expect is more of a game improvement doesn't look like it and yeah. definitely didn't feel like it either. It, it felt pretty, pretty soft off the face and I could for sure notice a difference in the sound. I think you said the word crisper. Yeah. Sure, definitely feels crisper off the face. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, I kind of jumped on a couple of those swings. I think I got a little excited there. So I was trying my best to keep the, the swing speed about the same. I think I swung about two miles an hour faster. But let's just see what, you know, what, what happened there with regards to numbers. Yeah, so it was 1.8 miles an hour faster. Um, smash factor 145, 144. So that's a good way to kind of, you know, talk about the efficiency. But this is what I find interesting. It's a little lower launching, even though I was swinging faster. 
um, and it has more loft on the mm -hmm. golf club. Yeah. So that, there's a little lower, lo lower launching iron is what we're seeing here. Uh, a little more spin, um, pretty similar numbers otherwise. If you look at dynamic loft, pretty much the same. What yeah. would we say? It was about half a degree weaker. Yep. Yeah. So, I mean, you can see my, my dynamic loft there is basically kind of about the same between the two of them, club about the same. So, numbers about the same, a little bit steeper with the height and the landing angle, yeah. which, is, which is good. Felt really good. I'm not going to lie. I was, it's, a, a, it's almost like it's a, it's a premium slight in between player's iron and game fruit iron. Yeah. Is what it looks like. Next. On the list, we will try out, we'll go back to, you know, last year's model maybe. We'll try out the Rogue ST Max. Um, I think this iron has a very similar look to, you know, the Rogue ST Max OS. The biggest difference is the loft. This has um, one degree less of loft. So this is going to be a stronger iron. So probably see some, you know, farther distances, maybe some less spin. Um, that goes along with that, but yeah. All right. Rogue ST Max, five shots. Uh, I know you kind of, um, made a comment about the, the look just compared to, you know, going from the brand new paradigm iron back to, you know, last year's Rogue ST Max model. Talk a little bit about first impressions. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's shorter from heel to toe. Um, you know, the Paradigm just got that very, very clean kind of look look to it. Um, the Royal Guest Team X has got a little more of a, it's not maybe not quite as shiny look, looking down at it. I think that's the one thing you see with Paradigm is it's very, very, the chrome finish is very, very shiny. Um, but then putting them down next to each other, and I was like, yeah, this is, uh, this is back in that game improvement category for, for sure. And yeah. yeah, I would expect this to probably go a little bit further. All right. Well, let's find out. There you go. Yeah, there's there's definitely some distance back in back in this iron. I mean, that's 198.5. That's up there for swinging at 82 miles an hour. That was a good. Oh. It's pretty good. Zero, 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 zero. Oh yeah. Maybe I should maybe I should swing at this speed all the time. You can game that. Yeah, just <laughs> plan for 16 yards of roll with your semi. Huh? You're good. <laughs> well, it's interesting you say that because if you look at like, the landing angle, this is the first iron with that landing angle on average has been under 40. You know, it's 39.9, so it's still not bad, but that's where loft is really important. And even with me swinging slower and, you know, you're trying to maybe emulate a little bit more of what our viewers are gonna, how they get a swing, it's still on the borderline of the, of the low side. So loft is your, is your friend. Yeah. But yeah, so let's like take a look at the numbers, just kind of see how, you know, this, this fits in with regards to the mix. And we're seeing it right there, I guess the, you know, we, we thought spin was going to be the biggest difference. Yeah. And we're seeing spin rate is the lowest. So really, loft is your friend on, on the golf club. And what you're seeing is more of a rollout. So you can see 175 going 192. That's 16, 17 yards. So if you're a high spinner of the ball, not a, not a bad club for you. Yeah. If you're already a low spinner, it could be a little bit of trouble. All right. Um, Paradigm X. So... First impressions, what do you think? I think, you know, this is a really sharp looking club, just like the, the Paradigm was. Um, Paradigm X is, you know, back to that stronger loft. I think we got 27.5 degrees of loft. So one and a half degrees stronger than the Paradigm. Um, same as Rogue ST Max and one degree stronger than the Rogue ST Max OS. This club would be kind of, you know, of the new models between the P Paradigm X and Paradigm, this is the more game improvement. Uh, looks like a little bigger body on it. Uh, what do you think about the look of that one? Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like a smaller version of the, the two Rogue ST Max. Okay. Probably more like the Rogue ST Max than the, than the OS model. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, just looks a little, little more compact. 
I can tell it's a game improvement iron. You know, I can tell the loft looks like it's just a little, little stronger, but and it's a little, it is a little larger than the than the actual paradigm head as well. But all right, good looking club. I think I could play it in like a you play this in like a four or five iron as a driving iron. I think it would be a, a great club. As far as um, the offset compared to the other models, how does what is that? How does that match up? I mean, uh, paradigm looks so much cleaner mm -hmm. than Rogue ST Max and OS. It yeah. just there's not as much offset. It's yeah. just not even it's not even close. Mm -hmm. yeah, the, 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 it looks more minimal. Um, there's probably a little more offset in this compared to the actual paradigm. Yeah, but the paradigm X still looks pretty clean. That had some juice to it. Pretty good there. Touch left. Pretty good. All right, so Paradigm, Paradigm X, Rogue ST Max, Rogue ST Max OS. You hit them all. Uh, five good shots with each. I think, you know, it's pretty clear both of us agree the Paradigm and Paradigm X iron looks really good. It visually, it's sharp. Um, you know, it's, you know, still on game improvement side, especially the Paradigm X, but it just has a clean look to it, um, you know, at address and just looking at it face on, it's a good looking club. Now, talk a little bit about the numbers out of all of them. Is it, you know, is there an improvement? Is there certain players that should still lean towards, um, you know, Rogue ST Max or Rogue ST Max OS? What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, uh, it looks like a premium club. So if you're going to pick this up off the shelf, it looks, you know, you know, I think it just looks appealing. So it's a very, very appealing club. It'll look, sit really well in someone's bag. This looks really nice. So definitely got the nice clean finishes with the par paradigm. But in, in terms of fitting into particular golfers, I think the, the most important thing we got to for sure pay attention to is the particular height and the loft on the, on the golf club. And I... I'm always looking at landing angle. I'm always looking at spin rate. I'm always looking at height. I'm trying to help the golfer out as much as I can to you know, get them in, in those optimal windows. At the end of the day, if they hit a particular iron well and they like that particular iron well, we can always tweak the loss. We can order them two degrees weak, two degrees strong if, if we need to. But coming back to it, these look incredibly good. I could play these. They're, they're, they're exact, really awesome clubs. Um, I think, you know, the most important thing you're seeing here is Paradigm, Paradigm X. You're seeing some separation. So the Paradigm with more loft, 45.9 landing angle, Paradigm X, 41.3. And that's because we're, we're talking about two degree difference there. Um, and we look at Rogue ST Max, that's you know, very, very kind of lower, lower spinning, lower launching, particular head. Um, but there's definitely some ranges here in the spin rate, in the launch angle. Um, but a lot of it in the, the day is just going to come back down to the way the particular model specs are and that's you know, what, what, what's standing out here But yeah, they're Explosive irons mm -hmm. and I think you know, we're I was swinging at just over 80 miles an hour club speed I was trying to give a, a slower speed kind of sample size because that space is what more people are going to kind of fit into So I, I let's take a look at those um, at that track band optimizer one of my favorite, favorite tools to look at here and just see you know, based on, you know, how I was swinging those particular clubs at just over 80 miles an hour, you know, are they, do they fit into the, the, the golf profile, essentially what I'm saying. Are they, are they too high? Are they low, too low? Do they got enough stop and power? Let's, let's take a look. All right, so Paradigm X was the last one that I, that I was hitting. You know, I'm definitely more of a shallower golfer. I don't take as much, much of a dip with, with my irons. So you can see my attack angle here is a little bit on the, on the shallow side, which is recommended. That's all we're seeing. But however... If we look on the far right, look at height. I'm still hitting at 81 feet in the air. And TrackMan would recommend, you know, around about that 65 to 90 feet category. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's performing really well. This is spin rate is 
on the low side. That's just the type of golfer I am. So we need to make up for that with height. So Chaffin checks the board there. Now that's low trajectory. Let's maybe move this over to medium trajectory. Medium trajectory, it's still within the window. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that overall. If we look at Rogue ST Max, this is, you know, we see the spin rate kind of pretty, pretty far down at 4,100. That's where it's kind of borderline. You know, I talked about that 39.9 degree on the, on the landing angle. So we're seeing as how it's borderline on what's kind of optimal height for a mid trajectory. If you wanted a high trajectory, you're gonna need more loft on your irons. So that's what we're seeing there with, with those. I think Paradigm, Paradigm's back up there. So Paradigm back up there on the, on the height. That particular one, I think that's 29 degrees loft. Yep. Yep, so that's their, their player's distance iron. So it's gonna give you a little extra height and a little more spin. And it's kind of fit in and kind of what's more kind of optimal. And then Rogue ST Max OS. So we've got the height, it's lower spinning, but the height kind of makes up for it. So all of these particular models, you know, they fit really, really well. Even if I'm testing swing 82 miles an hour on not hitting down on it enough, not generating enough steep attack angle, the way these particular models, you know, four of them are designed, it gets the ball up in the air, which is important. Just a little concerned at times if you're swinging slower than I am, if you want height, that's when, for example, say the, the Rogue ST Max with 27 and a half degrees of loft might be a little concerned. Yeah. But no, they're, they're awesome. They're, 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 they feel good, they're good. Uh, I think it comes down to a value and price thing. I mean, if you wanna pay the extra $60 per club and play a more premium iron, you know, the Paradigm irons, they are premium irons. They feel incredibly good, they go, they perform well. If you wanna pay a little less, you can still custom order the, uh, the Rogue ST Max line, and that's a, another great value there. Still a great performing club, just, you know, the feel is gonna maybe be a touch firmer. Um, maybe not quite, you know, as, as clean looking, you know, maybe not as shiny in a bag, but it's still gonna do the job. And the best thing is, you know, at Swing Lab Performance Golf, we have this Callaway fitting cart, so we can have you come in and you can compare those particular irons at a, at a location. So if you live in Minnesota, definitely come check us out. If you don't, just make sure you subscribe to our channel and let us know what other videos you want to see.